All right, I'll go in. <sighs> okay. You muster the courage. Take a little more sip. Okay. It's been quite a while since you drank, <laughs> so you're not drunk anymore. Okay. You're on the cusp of a mild headache. I'm tired. Um, but you enter the chamber and it closes behind you. The woman is currently looming over the table, looking towards you, and is just filling most of your vision at that point before she sits into a resting position. Leans in on the table, looking down at you, arms kind of crossing, and you see once again like the dual joints kind of bending before folding. It's been some time, halfling girl. So you remember me? I remember everything. Have you done this to other people? Mm, not quite this way, but you're not the first punishment I've been asked to enforce. M might I ask why? You said a debt, but what debt? Let's just say those goblins once did me quite the favor with something I couldn't achieve myself. And they did this favor for you in exchange for a repayment? For a favor to them. Then one day they came and called that debt in. I felt it was maybe a bit small-minded, but I respect those in the throes of anger and vengeful fury. That's a powerful thing. Just hypothetically, if, if they didn't exist anymore, would that debt need be honored? Oh. <laughs> my word is my bind. Whether or not they're around, I cannot just discard my promises, reputation and all that. And to undo it, you would need some sort of payment from me. Or a equal misery in turn. What if, does the misery have to affect me or, or my friends? Can it be anyone? It can be a misery offered, but it has to be given freely. It's hard to take something like that. The willingness is what makes it so right. The willingness. So another life, another body, something like that? What about... I've got two options here. How about the life of a weasel? <laughs> Not big enough, right? You're a musing little one. I've been drinking a lot today. I'm not promising anything, but what if two warring nations were about to form a lasting peace and that peace just sort of went away? That would cause misery for thousands, tens of thousands of people. Ah, oh, but I am not tethered to that misery. Unless you tether it for me. The how, eyes how are growing that, brighter. How does, how does that work? Without looking, the hand reaches over and extends all the way to the shelf from her sitting position on the opposite end of the room. 
<laughs> and between the fingers, you can see grasping what looks like four different jars and vials and pulling them over. I have ways, tinctures that can bear the connection. <clears throat> That I would have to take, swallow, apply? Apply. Have them swallow themselves of me. Swallow. I won't be able to do it today, obviously. But if you do this, and I will remove happily this hex I hold on your soul. And I'll go back to being the way I was? With the right magic, yes. I could help with that, though the process is a bit uh, painful, if familiar. Yes. What, what does that do? It just connects you to that person's soul? It's difficult to explain, but sure. <laughs> Close enough. Do I have to leave a deposit or something, or can I just take one? Or do you agree to my transaction? I don't know if it's possible, even. Uh, oh boy. I better go talk to my friends. The glasses kind of clink together as she places them, not back on the shelf, but to the floor, the side, kind of in a holding position. The other hand kind of gives a, a gesture as the door opens behind you. I'll just sort of back out of the room. Just one more question before I go. Yeah. Did you enjoy doing this to me? Didn't enjoy doing it to you. I've enjoyed everything since. All right, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> 